Hello and welcome to another racing video from me, Para, a up lad, the Yorkshire idiot. And today we're going to be looking at race room. We've been doing a lot of videos on project cars, so I thought we'd try and have a look at something different. Do you know, I don't, I'd heard of this game, but not really, not really known anything about it, shall we say. And I was just looking around on Steam for uh, racing games and simulation games, and I noticed it's free. Is it? Yes, the game is free. I don't know when it became a um, a free game at that point. It's free, but hang on, we'll get to that in a minute. Yes, you can download this on Steam right now for free. And it comes with, I think it's five cars and three tracks for free. And anything else you want to buy, like the sports pack or certain other uh, tracks, then you have to pay for them. So literally, you can put as much money into this game as you want. And I think if you were to buy every single car and every single track, it would probably come in about 150 quid. So, yes, be selective in what you want. Unless you're a complete and utter race nut, then go for it. It's, it's all in here for you. So, this is actually one of the free cars and one of the free tracks. And it plays a lot like Project Cars. This is definitely a sim. Don't mistake this for anything else than full-on sim. This is definitely simish. Uh, in the same vein as Project Cars and iRacing and all the other ones. As you can see, graphically wise, it's not too shabby at all. It's It hasn't got that dynamic range of Project Project Cars. Um, we are, we're, we're always gushing over Project Cars, aren't we? I just feel a little bit spoiled. But flipping neck, if I hadn't played Project Cars, I would think these graphics were amazing. And... Um, yeah, if you, if you enjoy uh, racing games and sim games, then get this, why not? It's free. You can play it with the 360 pad, I've tried it, but obviously if you've got a steering wheel, then you're going to get a hell of a lot more fun out of this game. That was my fault, bad braking. As I say, I don't really know this track and it was my own fault for skidding off, that'll teach me. Yeah, the vehicle is very, like it is in Project Cars with some of the super fast vehicles, you can't put your foot down um, unless really you're in a straight line, otherwise it just absolutely spins out and you've had it. Uh, same with the kerbs as well. If you've got a, a wheel on the kerb and you put the accelerator down again, you're gonna spin. So, um, it's the case of gentle Jesus until you get on the straight like this and then hoof it down here at 170 miles an hour or whatever it is by the time we get to the bottom. Physics wise, it feels a little bit slippy, I don't know why, the AI cars seem to be able to uh, get around corners like that one at the same speed as me, no bother. Whether that's because I'm playing on full sim mode, um, no assists on, uh, traction control off, everything as you can see there. Slightest little bit of um, oversteer with the accelerator and that's it you're off audio wise it's pretty damn good isn't it really N no complaints whatsoever um, it sounds nice and beefy there's no helmet cam mode as there is in project cars but you've got your basic views bonnet cam in car uh, the console sort of external views as well and um, yeah it's 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 a good racing game, and to say it's free, you'd be, you'd be daft not to give it a try if this is your sort of thing. Way skidding off the track there. Way off. Maybe because I'm going in too fast, but it looks like the AI cars are doing the same speed as me. I know I overcooked that one. Um, quite claustrophobic in here. The steering wheel seems huge. I'm sure this is this is how the actual car will be because with it being a sim, this will be modelled exactly as it uh, as they are in real life. But wow, they don't get much of a view in these cars, do they? Uh, which comes down to the point in Project Cars as well. You need to learn the track. I could probably get a lot better positioning wise, faster lap times had I done like 15, 20 laps in this. But this was literally just jump in and play. So this is probably going to be, if you're an average driver like me, this is probably how you're going to, um, whoops, sorry mate, bumped him off. Uh, this is the sort of, probably the, the gameplay you're going to have. And it's a little bit like Project Cars, even though you're at the back, you can still have a good race because with the PC being able to handle more vehicles, 
there's more cars on the track. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has just been a really, really quick look at, uh, I was going to say iRacing then, at, uh, what is it again? Race Room, <laughs> Race Room Racing Experience, and you can find this on Steam. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.